Let's double check. Let's double check. Yes. Yes, we are. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, we're getting started a few minutes late here, but not too bad. And it looks like stream health is good. Let's see. Yeah. I think we're doing well. All right, let's throw up a post on Twitter here, just so that people know that we're rocking and rolling. Let's see, Skyrim, not Sky Team, live stream. Does appear to be working. Okay, excellent. And I'm going to post it to the YouTube as well, to the community tab there. Because I happen to know that a lot of people see that. So let's go right over there. I often forget about the community tab, honestly. Uh, it's easy to forget about. But it's a good way to reach a lot of people. There we go. So hopefully that'll send a few individuals out this way. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, Zarvax? It's nice of you to drop by. So this is going to be an interesting stream because it is my first ever uh, stream on Twitch, as you can probably tell. Uh, and so as I go along, I will ask you to be patient with me because, hey, what's up, Stormwake? Thank you for joining me here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be learning the ropes, and this is all kind of a new system to me from this side of things, so. <laughs> Zarvax, you've been refreshing the page constantly for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I got started a little bit late. You know, we're about 10 after six. I aimed to get started at six, but I was just getting the logistics sorted, making sure everything was ready to go. And But uh, that's awesome. I'm glad that you guys are here. And we will see as we go along uh, how many people join us. Right now, it's a pretty small number. And I expect this stream is going to be significantly smaller than uh, my streams on YouTube, just because all of my subscribers are, of course, on YouTube. And so uh, it's going to take a little while to build up a subscriber base or a follower base here on Twitch. Um, so that's okay, though. Um, we're going to just work on that. And there's only one way to do that. So, so. Um, with that said, my plan for tonight is basically to roll a new character in Skyrim and start fresh. And now this isn't going to be quite like the Wandering in Skyrim series. Um, like I'll try and keep it chill for the most part, at least on my end. The game might get a little bit intense, but this is going to be a proper let's play type stream where I'm going to be, you know, uh, actually playing the game, not just wandering. So um, as we go along, I'll get you guys to help me make decisions about what kind of character I'll play, uh, you know, where I'll go, the kinds of things that I'll do, I guess. We'll just kind of, we'll kind of do it together. I think that'll be fun. So that's the plan. Um, I hope audio levels and everything are okay. We'll see once we get in game. If the game's a little bit loud, then uh, I can always adjust, uh, turn that down a little bit relative to 
the speaking. Um, but we might as well. Oh, hey. Before we get started here, I'm just going to pour myself out a drink because it wouldn't be a proper Skyrim stream without uh, a little bit of brew here, right? So I've got uh, a nice local Pilsner here that I'm gonna just pop open and pour out a glass. All right, let's go. Awesome. All right, cheers, guys. Okay, so, um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Just gonna double check here. Yeah, stream health looks good. We've got a couple more people here now. Thank you for, for coming along, checking it out. And I'm hoping that sending it over to YouTube there, what I should have done is I should have done an announcement video on YouTube just before I got started here, but kind of ran out of time, truth be told. So, but hopefully a few people see the uh, community tab announcement there and come hang on out with us. Okay. So, oh, actually, I'll make sure chat's up there. There we go. Oh, hey, Zarvax, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of a fun thing. That was something that Caplant and I wanted to put together for you guys, and um, and we'll probably do it again. I quite enjoyed that actually. Um, I, anything to do with beer, I generally enjoy, so, okay, so, here we are, in Skyrim, um, I'm going to start a new game, now, I've got a bunch of mods installed here, all kinds of them, um, oh, hey, Ricky, welcome, it's nice to have you here, Toothsayer, howdy, how's it going, um, so yeah, I've got a bunch of mods loaded up in here. Uh, it's a similar mod list to what you've seen on my Wandering in Skyrim videos. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay modification type mods on here as well, like uh, Ordinator, which is a perk overhaul, um, Wildcat, which is a combat overhaul, um, all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, things are going to be a little different than vanilla. And I've, of course, got uh, Alternate Start installed. So when we begin the game, we'll begin in a dungeon, and then we can select what kind of start we want. So let's do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's an issue with wearable lanterns. I can ignore that. Okay, so here we are in the dungeon. Um, and I've also got, I think I've got a racial over, overhaul. I think it's called Imperious installed. Um, and so the actual uh, racial abilities should be a little bit different than the usual as well, which is kind of cool. So what kind of character are we going to build here, guys? If you have any thoughts, um, Toothsayer, am I using the new version of Skyrim on top of the mods? Uh, yeah, this is Skyrim Special Edition, SSE. Um, and so it's got some graphical niceties that uh, the original Skyrim didn't have. And then, of course, I've got all my graphics mods and my ENB and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty, pretty nice looking, I think. Pardon me. So, okay. This is what I'm thinking, guys. I would like to do a sneaky character because it's kind of in keeping with the quieter ASMR theme, right? Um, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to go ranged sneaky character, like a, an archer, always kind of fun, stealth archer, or 
maybe a little more interesting, like a poison and daggers type character. I've never really played an alchemist, and I've never really played a dagger-based sneaky type before, so that could be kind of neat. Um, couple. Oh, what beer am I enjoying today? Yeah, I didn't really show it off here. It's. Uh, I don't know how this is going to show up, but I'll hold it up. This is the Arcus, Arcus Pilsner from Driftwood Brewing. And I really like the label art on this thing. It's pretty nice. Show it around that side there. Yeah, it's a nice light Pilsner. It's very crisp, very refreshing, a little bit hoppy um, for a Pilsner anyway, but it's, it's nice. It's this nice kind of pale golden color here. Zarvax, you suggest a Khajiit. Yeah, a Khajiit would be pretty appropriate, wouldn't it? For a sneaky, perhaps daggery type character. You know, I don't think I've ever played a Khajiit before, uh, at least not for any length of time, so maybe I will. Is Skyrim the best game ever made? It's up there. It's absolutely up there. Hmm. Not a stealth mage slash melee rogue. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Um, yeah, I could add in some casting. Um, but for some reason, I like the idea of being like a rogue that uses daggers, but that also makes use of poisons. Because I never use poisons in this game. Like, almost never. I just sell them. I don't know. It's just a system that I rarely interact with. But I feel like it could be fun to be an alchemist in this playthrough. Lots of opportunities or excuses to go off into the wilderness and collect ingredients and things like that. How's it going, Mud Dog 77 um, So yeah, maybe we go Khajiit. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the Khajiit racial bonus is in this mod with Imperius. So hopefully it's something useful or applicable to what I want to do here. I'll read this out here. The cat people of elsewhere differ greatly from the human and Merethic races. The religion is based on the two moons, which symbolize the two disparate tribes <laughs> that beer that make up early Khajiit society and influence their physical form, ranging from almost human like to that of an intelligent house cat. The Khajiit are led by a singular white cat, the mane. Kaji, Kaji, yeah, exactly. Yeet. What's going on here? Yeah, Zarvax, I've never really gotten into alchemy in this game either. The beast races are cool, Cole. I agree. I absolutely agree. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright, sure. We'll go Kaji. Next up. Um. Male Khajiit? Female Khajiit? It doesn't much matter. I'll probably stick with a male Khajiit. And maybe, in the interest of time, we can just uh, start off on one of these presets. Oh, that's kind of an interesting one. Look at those ears, eh? I don't think I ever said yeet in my Overwatch stream. I think I said something else. I think I said neat, maybe. You can't pin that on me. <laughs> now I'm thinking hmm no not feeling it well kind of sneaky looking look at those massive massive mutton chops on that Khajiit not into that a non-binary Khajiit yes a gender fluid Khajiit perhaps perhaps what do you guys think? There was one back there that... Oh, that one's alright. Looks kind of thiefy. I'm not crazy about the mutton chops, but I can change that up. Lots of scars on that one. Ooh, he's kind of evil looking too. Mm. Of course we can change it from the preset, right? But... I uh, See, that's too noble. That's like a warrior Khajiit. So tigers are noble. And... 
I'm thinking maybe... How do you guys feel about this guy? I kind of like this guy. Maybe we can just put some scars on him and call it a day. But he's got this cool, like, dark patch over here. It's kind of mustachios. Hmm. Or this guy. This is the other option with all those scars. Has anybody actually played as a high elf in the history of Skyrim? Um, I might have had a high elf character. I don't think in Skyrim, in Oblivion, as a caster. But they're just kind of dicks in Skyrim, aren't they? Okay, let's just make a decision here. This guy's interesting because he's kind of bright, which you wouldn't like associate with a stealthy type, but I think I might go with him anyway because uh, he, maybe he's like a ghost, you know? He's got quite the mohawk going on. All right, let's do that. Wait, this guy's a chunky kind of... Oh, I see. Do we want him skinny? Do we want him bulky? Somewhere in the middle, probably. Like, kind of skinny for a thief type, but like, somewhat toned. I will like right smack dab in the middle. Looks alright. Okie dokie. What's going on here? No snow in Jamaica. Yeah, it's not really relevant to the discussion here. This is not really the venue for that discussion, so... We're not going to have that one here. Um, okay. Let's move on. Okay, so he's got lots of bling going on. Uh, scars, that's what we want. Let's give him some scars. He's had a rough life. Okay, there's something. Yeah, three across the nose. All right. It's very faint. Oh, I see those are down the face. I want lots of scars. Like he's been in all kinds of cat fights. Is that insensitive towards Khajiit? I don't know. It's true, my Khajiit will be hidden in the snow. That's a very good point. Mm. Those three across the brow are alright. They're all kind of subtle though, aren't they? Three down the nose there. Sure, let's do that. No, it's all right. War paint. Oh, I see. That's what this is. This is considered war paint. Although it's not really. It looks more like markings, but there's a few interesting options there. But we'll stick with it as it was. We can change the color. No, we're good. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into editing the nose and mouth and all that stuff. Like, it's just... You can spend so long so long doing this stuff. Sometimes I care, other times I just can't be bothered, but we could be here for an hour if I did, so I will not. All right, yeah, look at that. People are starting to cruise by the stream, drop on in, which is good. <laughs> it's a slow, a slow process here, but people are showing up. I do appreciate that. Uh, eyes look good, I think. Maybe color we could change. As you guys know, well, maybe you don't all, but I'm very colorblind. So, oh, that's creepy. Look at that. No pupils. That's a little too, a little too spooky for me, I think. The default's not bad there, but maybe we can... It's almost too snake-like with the tiny little slits for pupils. And it makes them look kind of sad or derpy. That's the default. Hmm, what else we got here? That's also very reptilian, that one right there. <laughs> That's okay. Oh heck, I don't know. I want to stick with the defaults, guys. Goes that. That works because they're very big pupils, very wide pupils. Oh, uh, Toothsayer, you getting some lag? Um, I don't know. My stream health looks pretty good when I look over there. It says I'm hitting my target bit rate, more or less, so I'm not sure. 
Uh, no snowing in Jamaica. Yeah, this is the remastered. This is the special edition, but with all kinds of mods loaded on. So. Sorry, Tooth Sarah. Don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, try reloading the stream, maybe. Yeah, try that out. Like I said, this is my first time streaming on Twitch, so this is all kind of new to me, so if there are technical difficulties, we'll work through them together, right? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do it together. Uh, what I was saying is I like these pupils because they're kind of wide, like he's in the darkness a lot, you know? So that works for me. Brow, mouth, whatever. Hair. Uh, what do we think? What do we think about this main situation going on back here? Is Mohawk? I, I kind of like it. I think it sort of works. But we could. No, I don't really want braids. No, I don't want like a casual mullet either. Whoa! <laughs> you can do the lion's mane. You could look beautiful. You could look like me with my <laughs> flowing locks. But no. No, I don't think... I think we're gonna stick... Well, let's just see what's... what's past. Oh, he gets the tufts on his ears. I see, that's what that is. No, I like this one. He's, like, got the bling going on. He's, like, bone hoops, aren't they? And teeth and things. That's cool. Lovable dragon. It needs to be bright pink. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, we could, but... Yeah, the mohawk works, I think. My dog wants to know what I'm drinking. I showed it earlier, but I'll show it again quickly. It's this uh, Arcus Pilsner. It's from uh, Driftwood Brewing, which is a local brewery here in Victoria, BC. They have some really nice art on their bottles. And it's, uh, oh. it's a nice, oh. kind of crisp, slightly skunky Pilsner. That's good. No snow in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes, I am the YouTuber that did the Skyrim map videos. Uh, if you're thinking of the videos that I think you're thinking of. Where I talk about the map and some of my, you know, favorite places to visit on the maps. Like Morrowind, Skyrim, that sort of thing. I also do these Skyrim wanders where I kind of peacefully cruise around Skyrim, showing off the landscape and that sort of thing. Okay. You know what, this guy doesn't look very different than he did when we started, but I think we'll we'll stick with him. I think he's a good one. Honestly, the funny thing about Skyrim is you almost never see your character anyway, because it's all in the first person. Unless you're one of those weirdos that plays in third person, and if so, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> no, I'm joking, but uh, I always play in first person. So... Opal Moon, thank you. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is my inaugural stream here on Twitch. And I've done a bit of streaming on YouTube. Um, but I wanted to sort of transition over to Twitch here over the next little while. Because I think uh, this is a good platform. Yeah, Big Double D, this is a starting off of a new Skyrim series. It's going to be strictly a streaming series. And it's not going to be quite like the Wandering in Skyrim series. This is going to be much more um, actual gameplay rather than sort of just chill wandering. <laughs> Ricky, you were disgusted. All right, so you're not friends anymore, right? <laughs> Thanks, John Obon. I appreciate that. Uh, I do still have the wooden pencil. Sarvax, it's... Over there somewhere. I'd have to find it, but I, I should still have it, yeah. That was a good pointing tool. Thank you, Aspects. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is sort of something new in celebration of five years of this channel being, or not this Twitch channel, but my YouTube channel existing, so. Yes, Big Double D, the VODs will be available on YouTube. I'll re-upload to YouTube after we're done here so that everybody can enjoy this stream. <laughs> But it's nice that you're here, in real time. <laughs> yeah, the zombies are a little spooky, John Vaughn. It's true. Not all levels have zombies, though. Okay, uh, let's finish up here, since we've been sitting here looking at the same Khajiit forever. 
Yes, let's finish and name my character. Okay, guys, I need some names. Um, it's gotta be something sneaky. It's gotta be something quiet. And it's gotta be something, could be kinda goofy if you want. Mittens, yes. That actually is not bad. I was thinking something like whiskers, maybe. <laughs> mm, Brad, really? Oh, sorry, Ricky, your suggestion got caught by the auto mod there. I've got the auto mod turned on. It's kind of, it's a little aggressive right now, but um, anyway, Puss in Boots. Yeah, Whispers is not bad. Hmm, Giuseppe, Jabroni, Fang is a little bit on the nose, maybe. It's a little bit specific. Hmm, I think it's gotta be something unassuming. Um, Woof, <laughs> Woof is the, the dumbest name for a cat that I can think of. Ephemeral Rift. <laughs> If he was into making really crazy ASMR YouTube videos, we call him Ephemeral Rift. You guys are just gonna start spitting out names of ASMR artists now, aren't you? Shadow, maybe, but he's very bright colored. He's not very shadowy like. I don't know. Hmm. We could just go with mittens. I think that's actually pretty hilarious. It's really not sneaky or anything at all, but we're just going to be Mittens, the feared Khajiit assassin. I like that. Let's do it. <laughs> Snowball. Snowball could work because he's white-colored. That is a very goofy, stereotypical cat name. I think we'll stick with Mittens, though. Why not? I think that was the first suggestion that was made, so... Okay. We've got a character. Now, this is gonna take a second because all of the mods that I have are starting themselves up right now. And I've got a lot of them. Like inspect a fresh animal carcass. That's for Hunterborn. Wildcat, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling severely thirsty. That's because I'm running I need right now. Okay. So I'm just gonna let all these mods do their first time er, initialization. Which is gonna take a little while. Tweak commands. So this is where we start when we're using uh, alternate start, live another life. Uh, we start in this really dark dungeon. <laughs> and I believe that if we wanted to, we could in fact there we go. I think Immersive Armors is usually the last one to finish configuring. We could go, uh, go out this door and just make that our start if we can pick it, but... Lovable Dragon? Yes, I noticed you. How's it going? I have to use Unarmed Attack a lot if my name is Mittens. I've never played an unarmed character in this game, you know? I don't even know how it works. Um, I ended up naming it Mittens. All right. Okay, so, but the way this mod is supposed to work is we go and we talk to the statue of Mara here, and then she'll talk to us. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. So, quick question. How's the audio levels for you guys in terms of my talking versus the game volume? Can you hear the game okay without it being overpowering? I would like to know. Excellent, thanks Ricky. You know what I'm noticing? There's a lot less delay here between when I say a thing and when you guys respond than on YouTube. And I think that the latency is much lower on Twitch than on YouTube. So. Okay, subtitles maybe, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I could do that. Why don't we just carry on like we are, and we can see if that's something you guys want. Just keep it in mind and let me know in chat if you'd like to have subtitles. Okay. 
So we've got a whole pile of options here for how we can start. Um, we can say, I arrived aboard a ship. I own property in one of the nine holds. I'm a new member of a guild. I'm a patron at a local inn, soldier in the army. You can do the vanilla start by saying you got caught crossing the border illegally. You can just say, I want to escape this cell. Hopefully I need doesn't kill me before we're done here because it keeps saying I'm very thirsty. I'm an outlaw in the wilds. I'm a vigilant of Stendar, camping in the woods, shipwreck on the coast, vampire in a secluded lair, necromancer at a secret location, warlock's thrall attacked and left for dead, a Khajiit caravan guard. That sort of works. <laughs> the mittens emoji. I like it. That's awesome. It's just a baller cat with the sunglasses. Or surprise me, which will randomize it. So what works for... Mm, what works for a character like mine? An outlaw in the wilds could work well. A Kaiji caravan guard might be interesting, though. Don't you think? Like maybe he's a thief and he steals from the caravan surreptitiously while actually pretending to guard it. <laughs> that is one lit cat. Yeah, how about we start with a Kaji caravan guard? I think that's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, I'm all about it. Camping in the woods is a, is a good start. Um, I've started that way before, um, but it's not very exciting. Like you're just kind of there. You end up going to Helgen. But let's try the Kaji Caravan Guard and see how that goes. <laughs> Your emojis are fantastic, guys. Walk always on warm sands. Oh, look at that. I got a little Khajiit. Mm. Wish for luck there. Walk always on warm sands. Okay, so the way this works now is we go and we sleep in the bed. And then when we awake, we will be in our new life. Let's take a quick look in third person here. I'm just curious. Yeah, I think he looks all right, don't you? He looks like a somewhat shifty character, but he could be a caravan guard. Okay. Oh, if we go, wait, where the heck is my bed? I'm getting disoriented here because it's so dark. All right, let's go there. <laughs> Beautiful loading screen, big pile of snow. Snow can be collected from medium to large snowdrifts by activating them. Okay, where are we starting? Begin your new life. Um, so we appear to be down by the river here. That water's a bit loud, eh? I'm gonna pop in my other earbuds so I can properly hear this. And that's funny, because I don't see any other Khajiit around here. But this looks like a place where they might set up, right? Hmm. Lots of grass. <laughs> grass in all of the caravan and stuff. Um, I think I need to deal with my thirstiness, so I don't want to yeah, I'm definitely in the reach. I'm south of Markarth, I think. Oh, there we are. Markarth. I'm not really south, I guess. I'm like due east of Markarth. Hmm. Yeah, I still play Overwatch regularly. Okay, um, let's see if I can... I need to find something to drink here before I die of thirst, I think. So I'm using a mod called I Need. Um, and if I go to my magic menu here, I should be able to go to, uh, what is it? Powers, and there should be an actions I need power here. Uh, use it. I can check my status. I'm sated, I'm severely thirsty, and I'm rested. Um, and I'm willing to bet I don't have any drinks with me. But let's see what we got. 
Uh, I do have a water skin though, an empty water skin. So what I should be able to do is go down to the river, fill up my water skin, get a drink. Do have some food. Oh, I've got some mead. Can drink some mead, but we'll get some water. <laughs> Play a drunken stealth Khajiit that only drinks booze. That would actually be pretty good. <laughs> that would be pretty good. I'm not sure how this mod handles drunkenness. Okay. Let's see if this will let us uh, refill. There we go. Okay, so check it out, guys. We started off with some armor, actually. I didn't notice that, but... Um, because we're Caravan Guard, I guess. We've got leather armor. That's nice. And we've got a bow. No melee weapons. Lovable dragon? I don't know. Um, I don't have the Civ 6 expansion yet. I know it just came out. Um, I'll probably pick it up in the next little while, and I might, be, I might do a video with it if there's a demand for it. Um, okay. So, oh, I gotta drink my water. That's important. That's one. Ah, uh, there. Well hydrated. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, you know, I don't see anybody. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was just about to say there's nobody here, so I'm going to steal everything, but suddenly, Risad. Was he there before? Or she? He, I guess? Yes. And I just missed him? I don't know. Take a look. Okay, that was kind of surprising. Uh, certainly, yes, hello. I was certainly not considering stealing everything you own. Not at all. May you walk on warm sands, or whatever. Um, uh, I wonder if I can sneak around, maybe? Nah, whatever, it's not worth it. I, I almost, I almost stole in front of him. Can't steal the salmon either, or it's considered stealing to take it. All right, well, we're pretty well equipped actually to start off here. Now, what is our quest for live another life? Let's read this. This kind of sets the scene. The caravan has been good to me, and this one enjoys their company. Excuse me. Risad has hired on a new guard and has finally agreed to allow me to venture off on my own. At last, a life of adventure this one has wanted for months since leaving home. This one is welcome to stay in the camps at their stops should this one need a place to rest. For now, though, this one is off to find glory. So that's a pretty open-ended kind of thing. Um, so we don't really have a goal to start with, but we could head into Markarth, see what's going on over there. <laughs> it's true. I technically do work for these guys, and they won't even let me take their salmon. That's a shame. <laughs> In my experience, the way Live Another Life works is that um, I, it starts off like that, but then after a time, you'll end up receiving modifications to that quest, which will put you on the main quest and give you a way to sort of hook into the main storyline. Hey, ASMR Dex, how's it going? Welcome. I'm glad you could make it out to the stream. Okay. But we don't have to go to Markarth. You know, we could just head off into the wild blue yonder. Oh, hey, look at some more Khajiit. This is the rest of the caravan, I guess. The air is so clear in Skyrim. One can see for you. It's better than you. I don't remember this orc being with them, but anyway. Hmm. One thing that I could do is get Frostfall started. Now, Frostfall is cold weather survival. Um, I should find my lost copy of A Survivor's Guide to Skyrim to refresh my memory on cold weather survival skills. 
Activate Frostfall by staring at the night sky between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Or by selecting options Frostfall from the magic menu and pressing Shout. So, since we're doing this kind of survival playthrough, play uh, let's, let's get that started. Uh, we'll just do it from uh, options Frostfall. Let's start Frostfall. Lost in thought, you reflect back on how much the wilds have taught you about yourself over the last several days. We just started, but you're supposed to give it a little bit of time. You recall a book you once lost that was full of wisdom about survival in the open country. On a whim, you open your pack and find the Survivor's Guide to Skyrim staring back up at you. Had it always been there? Or <laughs> had thought alone summoned it? You push aside the thought as you thumb through its pages and then carefully place it back knowing that some things are never truly lost. All right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of direction off the bat here. Um, Helgen Reborn is another mod that I've got installed, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because technically, oh, this Frostfall is starting up still. Yes. So for those of you who haven't used Frostfall, it's cold weather survival, and depending on what you're wearing, you're either more or less protected from the elements, and um, you have to consider that because you can freeze to death. All right, Ricky, thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, get to bed, get some sleep for your work tomorrow. Thanks for coming out. Okay. Now, this is somewhat fortuitous, actually, because uh, I've spent, surprisingly, very little time in Markarth um, for one reason or another. It's just not a city that I get to very often in my playthroughs. And so um, this is going to be great because this is sort of a somewhat new experience for me. Which is awesome. I usually end up spending a lot of time in um, Whiterun, Solitude. Uh, the last playthrough I had, I spent a lot of time in Winterhold because I was a mage. So... How's it going, guys? First time in Markarth, traveler. Mm -hmm. Take my advice. If you see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. <laughs> Is there some problem? See, there you go, getting involved. Don't ask too many questions in Markarth. Safer for everyone that way. Head on in. Keep your nose clean, and you won't have any problems with us. If you say so, buddy. Uh, what do I think of Kingdom Come Deliverance? I haven't played it, but I did back it. I backed that Kickstarter, so I think it's coming out soon? In the next few days, maybe? Uh, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Alright, let's head on into Margarth. Alright. It is quite lovely, you know? It's a nice looking city. What's up, bud? Don't try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. <laughs> Dare I ask where this meat comes from? Ah, now that is a good question. Where does hardly get the finest, freshest meat from all over the reach? The answer is simple. Orcs. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a deer in seconds. Now, having an orc for a wife would be something. Yeah. Strong and bulky. All right. Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. Let me show you where they are. Uh oh. Maybe welcome you. Maybe they put an arrow okay, so place. that's kind of weird. Is someone there? Because I'm pretty sure you. When you need more meat. <laughs> what just happened? 
<laughs> I think something just broke, because I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a murder. Is this the guys that just murdered? And there's nobody here. <laughs> That's so broken. Oh my goodness. Good start, good start. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to start a quest, wasn't it? <laughs> what happens if we leave Mark Arth and come back in? <laughs> that is so funny. Alright, well, uh... I guess that's not gonna happen. If that was supposed to trigger a quest. I think that begins the whole Forsworn arc, doesn't it? Might have to see if there's a way I can force that later. The beef in the reach. My daughter Adara is going to be a fine silversmith when she's older. Yeah, Zarvax, that's what I thought. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I don't know what broke that. Who knows? My family came Some mod, I guess. Ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Works for me. Something to do. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Good day. All right, so we have to deliver Kelsimo's ring to Kelsimo. Now, like I said, I've spent very little time uh, in this city, so I don't actually know where Kelsimo is. So let's track that. Somewhere in Markarth, probably in the keep, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it is a super cool looking city. Kind of dark in here, huh? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical imperial lies. First, you take away towns. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead. You and the Yara will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. Hmm. Some kind of conflict here. Maybe we can talk to these guys and find out what's going on. It's about the Hall of the Dead. No, you can't go in there. What is the Hall of the Dead? New to Skyrim? I was confused at first, too. The Nords call their mausoleums the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers, foremothers. All right. Well, why can't I go in? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Yeah, see, that sounds like a quest. Oh, I could help if you tell me. All right. I was going to that was easy. That was hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones mm. were snapped to get at the marrow inside. Mm. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcay will reward you. Take my key. Sounds spooky. R.K., one of the eight divines, god of the cycle of birth and death. It is his shrine people pray to when they visit the hall, that his divinity will watch over their ancestors on the way to the next life. All right, well. Tread lightly in the hall. You don't know what's in there. Yeah, sounds spooky. So we've got a couple of quests here. And, uh... Let's finish up uh, taking this ring to Kelsimo, but uh, after that we can check out the Hall of the Dead. How's that sound? I'll have to go get a dagger first because I don't have any melee weapon. <laughs> How's your WoW going, ASMR Dex? Uh, 
This is quite pretty. Eh? Love the lighting in here. It's very dramatic. All right, Kelsimo, where are you going? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. <laughs> Apparently, dude over here is just gonna keep keep walking. Gotta love Skyrim. It's so broken. Excavation site. The and Zell? The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Glimmer in all of Tamriel. Is that so? People keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Yeah, a little bit touchy, eh? Sorry, Kelselmo. Not Kelsimo. Kelsimo. Kelselmo. Uh, I have something for you. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now, you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? Yeah, that'll do. To like that, I notice. Okay. <laughs> that works for me. Uh, maybe we can come back and talk to Kelselmo a bit later. But for now... Oh, uh, I think we should go check out the Hall of the Dead situation. Zarvax, have I heard about the Rorik's Dead Deja Worship theory? I don't think I have. Can't say I have. So just to double check here. No, we don't have any melee weapons. Um. Alright. Gosh, it's dark in here. Do I have a torch? Nope. This is what happens when I play with uh, enhanced lights and effects, uh, the hardcore version. Um, all the dead is back that way. But maybe we can go get some basic supplies first before we go fighting stuff in the dark. Look at that. Love the skies with obsidian weathers. So pretty. Okay, so where are... There's a basic outfitter in this place. I do not know. Oh, it's an abandoned house. This is an inn, isn't it? The Silver Blood Inn, yeah, of course. Hmm. Just punch them all to death. <laughs> it's an option. It's definitely an option. These are all people's houses. I need to look for a place with a sign. Sign out front that says stuff for sale. Shrine of Talos. Here? For real though, I have no idea where I'm going here. I was a blacksmith, that'll do. She is the master blacksmith and he's the apprentice. Alrighty. Well, she seems to know what she's talking about, so. What you got for sale? Okay. We've got not much gold, a little bit. Oh, a blessed iron dagger. See, that sounds like it'd be pretty useful considering we're going after some undead, perhaps. 
but uh, no, no steel dagger here, sadly. It's kind of expensive, though. We don't quite have enough for that. Can we sell some junk? Let's see. Not really. Not enough to purchase the dagger. Hmm. Uh, well, so here's a question. Until next time. Having ever played a sneaky thief type, I assume... Is it the sneaking skill tree that has all the backstabbing stuff in it? Oh, right, of course. I'm using Ordinator, so it's going to be all over the place. This is going to be totally different. Assassin's Blade, that sounds like a thing. Sneak attacks with daggers, deal more damage per level of sneak. You deal 25% more damage and critical damage with daggers when striking a target from behind. Yeah. So we want to work on our sneak skill tree. And daggers are considered one handed weapons, right? So what does that do for us? There's a rogue's parry. No. Gosh, there's so many, so many things available. Oh, Zarbax, you managed to get the, uh, the Art of Skyrim. That's awesome. That is such a cool book. I really do love that book. Sort of useful for what you're doing. What are you doing? Got an axe here. Okay. Good. Take a look. Let's just pick up a random one-handed sword here for now. Steel sword, we can afford that. Equip that. Fight well. That'll do. Alright, so we gotta head back up to the keep. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, I forgot. I'm gonna grab a torch. Because it's really dark. And my mage, I just use a spell. How about some armor? I assume Take a look. that she has. <laughs> no torches. Alright, well, we'll just muddle our way around in the dark. It'll be great. reason my chat has stopped scrolling here. Don't know why that would be. Jet7x Country. Yeah, this is my first Twitch stream. So, just getting started here. Be part of the inaugural stream. Thanks for coming by. Alright. Hmm. Okay. It is a dark AF down here. Lantern would also help me. Here we are. Find out what's happening in the Hall of the Dead. Arcade will watch over you. I will. Okay, guys. Here we go. See what we can find. Ooh, it is very spooky dark down here. Not many would walk blindly into a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not of fear. Hmm. <laughs> I feel the hunger inside of you, gnawing at you. You see the dead, and your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. Um, are you sure about that? It's, it's a little weird, but maybe. It's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything I have forgotten. Okay. Sure. Oh. 
You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? Uh. Your brother or sister had died. An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? <laughs> it's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. I don't know where she's getting all this from, but... Uh... <laughs> this is the first time I've done this quest, so I have no idea how this plays out. Hmm. Uh, I'm not a cannibal, as far as I know. Guilt? Well, what are you talking about? A lot of our kind lock out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. Mm -hmm. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. I wonder if this is Namira's quest line. I can't remember. It could be. Like I said, I haven't done this particular quest before, so. Where is this it's place? Inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We will fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. Okay, so apparently I get to be a cannibal. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Or get to fight cannibals. Zarvax, 3D animation for video games. Ah, cool. Jet 7X, your chem major currently. How'd you find that? And Hair Bear Extreme. Yeah, The Witcher 3 is great. Um, I've never finished it. <laughs> it's a very long game. Uh, but it's it's stellar. It's really, really good. I've played the Witcher series since Witcher 1, so uh, I quite like it. One day I'll finish the Witcher 3. Alright. Let's top up the beer here. Yeah, I could maybe do some Witcher 3 live stream or something like that at some point. All right, You've brother Verulus. What happened to the Hall of the Dead? Well, uh, I ran into a crazy cannibal, Your but it's safe now. You. You're a hero. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as a reward. All right. <laughs> He'll give me water. That's part of that uh, I need. Yeah, take care of yourself. Okay, what was that amulet all about? Amulet of Arcay. All right, sure. Ten points of health. I'm not going to argue. It's nice to see a friendly face around here. Mm, he doesn't have much else have to say. Great day. Hmm. Uh, how are we doing for... No, we don't need Frostfall. I need. We're a little hungry, we're a little thirsty, we're a little fatigued. Okay. Well, let's eat a bit and drink a bit. Somehow that may be tired. How many apples do I need? Four, <laughs> not. There we go. Well hydrated, well fed. Very good, very good. Okay guys, so what do you think we should do here? Um, do you want to hang around in Markarth? Um, because, you know, there's probably no shortage of quests around here, and like I said, I've spent very little time here, so this is all sort of new for me. But, uh, we could also just head off into the wild blue yonder, head out to Whiterun, head up to Solitude, anything like that, really. What do you think? I'm feeling like... I don't know. I could go either way. Yeah? Yeah, some more decks. Just hang around. Orange chicken little. Yeah, alright. Cool. Well, let's just keep questing around here. See what we can find. Now, it sounded like that, uh... 
Kelselmo guy maybe had something that we could do for him. He sounded a little upset about something, so why don't we talk to him again? I have things to study. What is it? I do need guards. Protect my research for one. There are more cutthroat scholars out there who would steal my findings if they got the chance. And the excavations into Nchuanzel are dangerous. Dwemer machines and traps still function, even after thousands of years. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what if I wanted to see the excavation site? Well, actually, let's yes. first ask him about the Dwemer. Is all around us in Markarth, a race of stone cutters, artisans, and engineers. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappear. The whole people, all at once, leaving behind... Those crazy Dwemer. Slight spoilers for Morrowind if you've never played that, but you do get to meet a Dwemer in Morrowind. Yeah, let's check out the excavation site. Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's what am I agreeing to? My workers call her Nimi, the poison one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Giant spider sounds good to me. Let's do it. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. All right. Um, so you wish to master the arcane arts? Not really, no, but I want to sell you some junk. What have we got? We've got some rings that we could enchant, but I'm just going to sell them for gold right off the bat here. Yeah, let's do that. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach. <laughs> kind of hungry. Okay. Keep our amulet of arcade though. But Maybe he has torches. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. What we really need is like a night eye spell or something. Yes, yes, I Maybe I have that power as a Khajiit, I'm not sure. Sorry, orange chicken little. We're gonna go find a giant spider, but it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> yeah, George Lucas does like his uh, effects, but I think he's pretty much divorced from the Star Wars stuff these days. I don't think he has much involvement at all. Okay. Uh, the, no? Mm. Kill Nimi inside Nushwandzel. That's up this way. <laughs> it's true. It's ASMR just problems. Sometimes, if you're uh, filming hungry, the stomach growls can really ruin an otherwise good video. Gotta re record. So it begins the collection of all the Dwemer crap. You gotta look and you gotta think about the weight to value ratio. You know? It's all about the weight to value ratio. The gyro's not bad, plate metal's not bad. You know what's kinda cool? Is that uh, the Sky UI, which I'm using here, actually lets you add, pardon me, a value to weight to column. So then you can sort by value to weight and you can drop the stuff that's got a poor ratio if you're over encumbered and so you keep only the most valuable stuff. If you're like me and you're kind of obsessive over picking up everything or all the worthwhile stuff. Okay, so where is this spider? Over here somewhere for me. Mechanical keyboard weapon mod where I just wield a mechanical keyboard. That would be pretty darn good. It's like greatsword mech keeb. 
I should figure out if I can make such a thing. I've never actually made a mod for Skyrim, surprisingly. As much as I do enjoy uh, like modding my installation with other people's mods, I've never created one myself. It's something I'd like to do one day. Alright, so... Uh, no, I didn't want items. I wanted magic. And I wanted to look at... Yeah, abilities. Powers. Do I have some kind of... Mm, a lot of these are added by mods. Weather, weather sense, all that stuff. Uh, what I'm looking for here is... No, not restoration. Uh, I thought that I got as a Khajiit some kind of... Mm. No, I guess not. I'm going to have to look and see what Imperius does for Khajiits. <laughs> D Manija444. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip is good. Cookie dough is fantastic. Um, my favorite of all time, though, is this flavor that I don't think... I haven't seen for years and years, but there used to be this kind of like country market near my place when I was growing up that was... Uh, they sold ice cream in the summertime, and they sold this ice cream that was like a blueberry... It's like blueberry vanilla swirl kind of ice cream. And to be fair, I haven't really looked for it, but I've never seen it anywhere else. Um, you know, you can probably get it somewhere. Oops. Just, you know, elbowing things, don't mind me. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably my favorite. I just haven't seen it for years. Kool-Aid, why were you scared when you saw the stream started? What's so scary about it? Honeycomb ice cream. I've never had honeycomb ice cream before. Oh my goodness. Oh, almost walked off an edge. It's pretty dark in here. What have we got in this barrel? Carrots, sure. I really feel like I need a light source. I'm scared, guys. This is ghoul. Putrefied ghoul? Is that who you are? Sure. Just straight ghoul. Take that to a urn. No, you didn't miss it. Not at all. You're good. You're good. Hmm. I don't know, guys. This is a little... A little sketchy without a light source, but maybe we just jump down there and do it. I just don't know how we're going to get out of here. I can't find my way out. I wish I could pick up these lanterns that are sitting around everywhere. Muyaz, Muyaz, new sub on my channel. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate that, and I appreciate that you enjoy my content. That means a lot. Alright, well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? We're just going to drop down here and hopefully not die. Maybe I should do a little quick save here first, though. Orange chicken, Lily will hold my hand. All right, you guys ready for this? We'll hold hands, we'll do it together. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to jump for it. Okay, here we... Wait, hold on, can I go this way? God, it's so dark. Whatever, jump. Oh, there's something. Oh, hey, Dwarven Dagger. That's nice. Uh, what's going on down here? Oh, wait. Can we just... Could we have just walked down? Maybe. I don't know, because it's so flipping dark in here. This is hilarious. I didn't think this through. Potatoes, yeah. Bunch of Dwemer junk. Alright. I just want a torch. Oh, that's a spider. He hasn't seen me somehow. Let's uh, let's get our dagger on here. <laughs> you think I've got a crimson Sith lightsaber ready to go? Um, no, I used to have a lightsaber as a kid. It was Luke Skywalker's. 
All right. This guy. Wait, is this the spider that I have to murder? No. Okay, what is? Okay. I don't know why that spider was so unaware. Okay, yeah. So Hunterborn. Hunterborn is a mod that I've actually not used before, but I've heard good things about it, and it lets you like extract ingredients from monsters and do more stuff basically please wait a few seconds for hunterborn to start then activate this carcass again to continue okay just give it a couple minutes no orange chickens don't you know that you can stab spiders if you try hard enough Okay, that's right. Hunterborn comes with its own set. I think its own little skill tree. I'm not sure how you access it, but... Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that because, yeah, I don't remember how you access Hunterborn's skill tree. Now we've got an iron ore vein, but I don't think we have a pickaxe, do we? No, we don't. Oh, there's probably one laying around somewhere over here. I just really want to be able to see things. Cuz I'm probably missing a whole lot of a whole lot of goodies. Hmm. Oh well. Meowanita Hunterborn gets really annoying. Yeah. That's worth keeping in mind then. I can probably just ditch it part way through, mid playthrough if I had to. Maybe I will. It's a shovel, but no pickaxe. Lots of dormer stuff, whatever. Yeah, why would you have to mention that video, D-Money? Uh, I could have just lived my whole life not thinking about that video again. Holy crap, it is dark down here. Are these spiders dumb? I feel like their AI is all broken or something. <laughs> but it works for me. Maybe it's really dark for them too. I see. Here's the hunterborn situation. So we have choices. Extract venom, harvest ingredients, put your meat search, which is, I guess, the basic thing. What happens if we extract venom? I must sheath my weapon. Okay. There we go. Uh, we can do other stuff, though. Harvest ingredients. Oh, we go into a third-person animation for that. Small animal bones. Butcher spider meat? I don't know how that works. Raw spider meat. Gross. Huh. Alright, well. That's interesting. Oh, Corundum ore, which we can't take advantage of. Oh god. That is a really big looking spider. And really gross looking. No, not the big one yet, though. Not the big one yet. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, God, I can kill it. That did, though. Lots of dead people here. You wouldn't think finding a torch in this game would be so difficult. I feel like they're everywhere normally. One up randomly, yet, have we? No, not yet. That's a shame. So I don't know if I care enough about all these things. I guess I'll just do them. They're all probably worth something, right? <laughs> Zarvax, yes, I do remember that moment in Thief when the guard somehow saw me around the corner. And I was basically forced to play the rest of that mission with the alarm's going off, which was really frustrating. He came, like, charging at me. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we're getting towards 
Getting towards this big meanie. Can I move through now? No. Nope. Scared. Oh god. Hasn't seen me yet though. So we can get a sneak attack in on it, right? Right in the butt. It still hasn't seen me. It's because it's so dark in here. I don't even know what's happening. Right here, you stupid spider. This is so broken. Hey, we did it, guys. Excellent. What is my favorite video I made when I was just starting out five years ago? Um... Feeling moderately thirsty and mildly fatigued. That thing I do where I butcher it for meat must take a long time of game time or something. Like it must progress game time because it keeps advancing my state there. Hey Lurker, well thank you for joining this stream. This is the first stream that I've done on Twitch, so uh, this is the first one you could have joined, and I appreciate you coming on. I see a dead guy here. Alethius. Salonia, we've been saddled with some researchers who can't go four steps without examining something, and they fight about us, or they fight about as well as you'd think. Probably worse. Okay. Stomach, shush. Strom at least has some magical competence, but none of them can swing a sword. Erge and Craig seem up to something, so we'll have to keep an eye on them, but Stolbin assures me they're trustworthy. Okay. Hmm. That starts a quest. Very interesting. I have to recover Strom's journal. Hmm. <laughs> does he have a torch? I don't think he did. I wasn't really paying attention, but I don't think he does. Nope. <laughs> Because uh, I'd love to be able to see if there's like a chest in this room or something. But instead I'm just going to stumble around aimlessly in the dark for a while longer. Because uh, apparently that's that's what I've created here. This is the nightmare that I have designed. I'm probably missing all kinds of good loot. I don't know. Alright, well we can probably wander our way back here anyway through the darkness. So far, so good. Uh, nope, that's not right. Oh, eggs are. Spider eggs. Good, good. Hmm. I did do a Don't Starve video uh, once upon a time. Long ago, actually. And I could certainly give it another shot. Uh, haven't played it for years, but... Is this going to get us back up to where we came from? Where do we need to get to up there? I'm just going to kind of push against the wall here, and maybe we'll eventually... God, it's so dark. <laughs> Help me, please. Oh, hold on, what's this? Okay, I think this is sort of working. Because we originally... Oh, no, I think I fell. This is ridiculous, guys. This is so dumb. I didn't have a lantern, did I? I really did not plan this that well. Okay, let's look at our map. Maybe we can figure it out from the map. Um, yeah, no, that's no help at all. 
Oh no. Oh hey. Okay, I think we got somewhere here. Uh, can I get over to here? Yes. Oh, we still have a long way up to go. Crap, I think I fell again. <laughs> Guys, why have I done this to myself? I really should have taken the time to go find something before we came up here. Or came down here, really. I don't know if there's any escape. I really don't know if there's a way out of here in the pitch blackness. Now we do have a couple of options. Because we were playing on PC. Oh, this is kind of getting up there. If I just kind of... Yes! There we go. Oh, I was so worried. I thought we were going to be stuck forever. Um, Ewan McCraw McCrawlid? A video where I go through holiday photos would be brilliant. Yeah, that's something I, I could absolutely do. I would love to do that. Um, I did a video where I edited a few uh, vacation photos um, in Lightroom, but I could certainly go through some more. Yeah, I could have turned up the gamma, that's true, that's sort of cheating. Then again, I was about to cheat anyway, I was just going to spawn in a torch for myself. Okay, so what we've learned here is that I really need to go get a torch or a lantern. Well, I killed the spider. You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Find the displays. Some of them are quite fragile. I don't know what I do with the Dwemer Museum key, but I guess we'll check it out. Oh, really? Hmm. This looks like someone from Staben's little group. A brave scholar, but not very wise. If you find Stubborn, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. I doubt you'll find him alive, though. I was about to say, I think Stubborn's dead. Uh, do you have any water? Of course. Fill me up. Yo. Yeah, Ewan, there was that uh, Greek temple that was at Pistum, uh, which is on the sort of south-central coast of Italy. Or west coast I should say but south of Rome away south of Naples um, that was a really cool site yeah that's right D money um, so the other option here I had you figured for a mage. I is to see if Calselmo has um, some kind of oh my goodness candlelight there we go hovering light the last 60 seconds I think that's probably what we want. I don't know if there's any other light spells. So I'm using Apocalypse, which is another mod. And it has all kinds of crazy spells, but we'll go with uh, we'll go with candlelight. buy them all. Yeah, that's part of Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, which is a really good spell overhaul. Okay, so learn this now. And let's go. I don't want magic. To... Is it alteration? Which one is alteration? I don't even know. Whatever, it's right there. This one, I guess. Um, but I still want sword there. I'm just don't to get derping hard here. Candlelight there. There we go. Oh, that's better. I can finally see things. Oh, except I was using the Dwemer Dwarven Dagger, wasn't I? Alright, we're set. The mountains I edited, yeah, those were... <clears throat> uh, that was Grand Paradiso National Park in northern Italy. 
right near the border with Switzerland and France. I'd love to get to Barcelona, yeah. Is there a reason I'm waiting to level up now? Mostly I just forgot about it. So let's see what we got. Uh, as a stealthy character, I don't know if I'm going to be spellcasting or... I don't know. But health, you can never really go wrong with health, so we'll just do that for now. That's fine by me. Alright, let's put some points into sneak here. Sneaking is 15% more effective. Sneak success depends on visibility. Yeah. Movement and light level. Sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have to put a point in there to get started. And then next level, we can start thinking about some of these other things. What is this? Demolition job. This is for a destruction mage slash sneaky character. That's pretty hilarious. Moscow? Yeah, I'd love to visit Moscow one day. Did anyone else's stream just freak out? I don't know. How are you guys doing? How's the stream in? Curious if it's been stable for the most part. If the audio is still working out for you. Spot detection. Grants the spot detection power at will. Outlines all humanoids within 150 feet that are detecting you with a green glow. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Okay, so. Um, recover Strom's journal. Where is that? Oh, we don't know. Just says find them. Are they back in that place where we just were, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, they are back in here somewhere. Well, do we want to go back in? Wait, started Kaji perception. Acquire gold. I don't even know what mod that's part of. That must be Imperious. Perhaps Imperious makes you unlock your racial skills. Huh. I have no idea. That's quite something. Okay. Um, but actually, I'm going to sell some stuff to Kelsomo here. Good to see you. I had you figured for a mate. I think you'll appreciate What keyboard am I using right now? I am using the Obens and Pro at the moment, which I reviewed on my channel last year sometime. It's good. It's a 60% keyboard. Uh, with Gator on Brown switches, and I use it a lot because I like it a lot. Um, we can sell him. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that Imperial Cloak and I'm going to equip it because that'll actually increase my warmth for Frostfall, I believe. There you go. Warmth and coverage both go up. And I guess we'll be using light armor. Which is worse. Sorry, the studded Imperial armor is worse than the leather armor I have on, so. Yeah, so is all this Imperial light stuff, so there's no reason to switch to that. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go sell some of that Dwemer stuff to the blacksmith outside before we dive back into the dungeon. Yeah, you like that review series? I appreciate that. Uh, I'll be starting it up again. It's just kind of on hiatus at the moment. Uh, but I have a few items here that I would like to review for you guys. One that's underway. So. There will be more. Wait. Take a look. Okay. Sell all this swimmer junk. And I need a bow. Get rid of those. And. And we'll hang on to the sword for now. Well, no, you know what? I'm happy with the drummer dagger. 
We'll just sell off the sword we bought too, which is a big waste of money, but whatever. Who cares? Oops. Yeah, you in? Really into that holiday photo video? I would love to do that because I really enjoy looking through my trip photos. I always feel like it's something that people aren't super keen on because it's like, I don't know, it was my trip. Not like I have good memories of it, but other people are just like, uh, whatever. But um, yeah, if that's something that you guys are interested in, I would really be happy to do that because I love going through those photos. Zarvax, I'd love to scream, stream Skyrim VR, but uh, I can't because it is only available for PSVR right now, sadly. Sadly, sadly. Dope Casual. Um, I am using um, an i7-4770K overclocked for my CPU, and my GPU is a GTX 980. Also pretty heavily overclocked. Uh, and they run this modded Skyrim quite admirably. Um, okay, so where do we have to go to find this guy? Oh my goodness. Oh, it says like there was a door up above where we went earlier. Okay. All right, well, let's just head back there. Now I'll actually be able to see things. Thanks, Dope Casual. Yeah, sure. I could totally do a, a trip video. Huh, there we go. Okay, so see, guys? There was an easy way down right there that I never saw. Oh, you know what I should have done while I was out there at the blacksmith? I should have got a pickaxe so I could mine the corundum ore and all that stuff. I can see everything. It's amazing. But maybe we'll find a pickaxe kicking around here now that we can see. None jumping out at me, but... Potato. Rabbit haunch. How am I doing on the hunger and water department? Status. Mildly hungry, moderately thirsty, mildly fatigued. That's not too bad. Kool-Aid, you're tired? Well, if you need to go to bed. No hard feelings. I understand. see if there's anything that we missed in here. Shovels, no pickaxes. It's a problem. There was a pick under the table. Are you serious? Way back there. I really don't need it, but I kind of just want one. Apparently I'm blind. So there is. Well done, guys. Well spotted. Thank you. Let's mine this iron ore, shall we? For, for noticing that for me. Sometimes it's really hard to, I don't know, pay full attention to the game and also the stream at the same time, I find. Just, I don't play as, <laughs> these bones are just like exploding all over the place. Ugh. Uh, I don't play as meticulously as I normally would, I guess. Now, where was that corundum ore vein? I don't actually remember. Was it up top here? That must have been back there. Oh well. Oh, this is where we've got to carry on. Yeah, 
here now. Do I need to light it on fire? Hmm. Maybe it needs fire. I don't think I... Do I have any destruction spells? I have flames. Well, let's try that out. Hey, look at that. Uh, Ewan, I don't play competitively. Uh, I play Overwatch comp, that's about it. I don't play CSGO, though. Um, yeah, that Urban Farmhouse beer was really good, Zarvax. It was quite refreshing. It was a good call on Cat Plant's part. I can see why it would be one of her favorites. Alright. Why do I keep going to items? Don't want to go to items. I want to go. No, actually, I didn't want to go to items. I wanted to re equip my dagger. Should add it to my favorites, anyway. Okay. Off we go. Deeper into the ruins. What do I think about the Overwatch League? I think it's really well done, actually. Um, I think that Blizzard put a lot of money into it, and it shows. <laughs> Um, but I've been quite enjoying watching it, as a matter of fact. I don't watch it frequently, but I will occasionally catch a game or part of a game. Oh, hell no. Are we seriously... Really? We're down in, uh... Oh. Okay. So, there's clearly something broken with the AI right now. And I haven't the faintest clue what it is. What do you guys think? Did I enable some kind of console command? That I, uh... Okay, let's... Let's troubleshoot this. <laughs> Maybe I have to enable or configure Wildcat or something like that. It's funny, because I play on a different character and I've not had this problem before. Hmm. Oh! I was testing earlier. I had... That's it right there, you can see. I had God Mode on and AI Detection off. When I was testing, so that's exactly what I've been cheating this whole time, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's uh, let's there. Now, the AI should be able to see me. Now I'm gonna get freaking wrecked here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man that was a terrible terrible okay well I guess I know that I'm really squishy and that I shouldn't be fighting these Falmer this is such a hilarious start nothing's going right <laughs> no I've never played Siege Falmers are no joke Okay, well, maybe this is a little beyond me right now, um, because I don't seem to be that good at sneaking. Okay, let's go, let's go see if we can, one more time with this Falmer, one more time. And if it doesn't work out, then, uh, yeah, let's do a little quick save. Quick savey save. Whoa. Apparently there's a trap in the darkness there. This is going to end in disaster. I'm telling, calling it right now. I'm going to walk off the edge or something. Shoot, I missed! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, also, I have Wildcat installed, which uh, makes combat way more intense. Uh, makes it way easier to kill and die. Um, oof, that hurt. I get staggered and such. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's take a potion here. I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, let's heal up a little bit. I 
think as soon as I lost the sneak attack opportunity there. Oh my god. Alright. Nope, we're not going down here, guys. <laughs> the 50 goofy questions. God, that was so long ago. Yes, I do remember that. That was a tag from that ASMR chick who is not making videos anymore. But I do remember that video. That was fun. The old intro, the Game Boy intro. <laughs> Favorite Tide Pod flavor. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Sh should we? No, no, it's not worth it. This is this is obviously not working out. So we'll come back later. <laughs> we'll come back later. Why do I hear Falmer? Do you guys hear breathing Falmer? That's really creepy. I don't know why that's happening. Okay. Let's find a different quest for us to undertake. Something else. What is my job? Uh, I'm currently a PhD student. I am working on forest fire impacts. So I'm in the environmental sciences. I don't think there's anywhere else to go in here really, is there? No, these are all caved in. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening in chat. Yeah, ASMR Dex, I've thought about another science lab video. I keep giving the excuse that like it's hard to find time in the lab when there aren't other people around. And it's true, it is, but maybe I just need to make more of an effort to just uh, to do it. That's what I need to do. Alrighty. What shall we do? Lost Expedition, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, who wants to really go to Blackreach anyway? Not me, not me. Uh, should we go check out that cannibal? Maybe we go check out the cannibal situation. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Let's do it. design a degree in production design oh, that's cool what does that entail exactly what kind of work do you do in production design uh do i have stuff to sell probably i still have a bunch of dwemer urns and stuff was i not able to sell those to the blacksmith here Yourself. Don't think I could, eh? No, I wasn't able to. I can sell some scrap metal there. A little bit of iron ore. What is wrong with your apprentice? Boy's an imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. You find a book called The Last Scabbard of Actors. But you bring it to me. Tacit is sure isn't learning by example. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we can find one. Do you guys remember I did a video where I read The Last Scabbard of Akrash uh, in Skyrim quite a while ago? All right. But I like that one. Okay. Uh, where's like the general merchant in this lousy town? That's the mines. It's gotta be just a general goods town or a general goods store around here. I can sell off a bunch of junk. Uh, 
Probably the innkeeper will buy some stuff, but... The aesthetics of products. Huh. That sounds really neat. So you work on how things look, basically. How can I help you? Oh my goodness. So this guy doesn't sound like a, a default voice actor. I think he's probably part of the 3D NPCs mod. Listen, if I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Wow, happy marriage, huh? The building across from the inn says ASMR things, okay. Uh, let's just sell off some something here. Uh, although, because I'm using I need, I do need to keep most of my food. I probably don't need to keep the raw spider meat. Let's, what does it do? Aid stamina recovery. Tastes gross. Let's not. Okay. Ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. <laughs> Alright. How can you play video games for 10 plus hours a day? The dark side of the forest is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs> Want to do replacement year in Razer gaming peripherals? That would be pretty cool. Designing gaming, gaming peripherals, that would be pretty awesome. Alright, let's eat a bunch of carrots, I don't know. I'm feeling well sated, excellent. I'm well hydrated. Alright, uh, let's go take a look at ASMR decks and see. You think it's across from here, huh? What's the matter? Yes? What are you standing my here for? God, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Oh, did I? Thank you. <laughs> here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. <laughs> so broken. <laughs> This is related to that broken animation we saw earlier, which in retrospect was probably broken because I had the AI turned off. So that would explain a lot. Hmm. No, I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Syria. Okay. I should never have come to Markarth. Oh, and now here's Waylon looking really dead. So. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. I'm just going to uh, raid his dead corpse here. Don't mind me. We'll leave him with his clothes at least. I don't think that quest ever started properly though, so I might have to use a console command to trigger it. Um, yeah, this looks like general goods. Thanks, ASMR decks. I am, in fact. Elizabeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. Arnleaf and Sons No, I'm not Arnleaf. <laughs> yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Uh what have we got for sale? Oh a bit of this and a bit of that. Do I have any favorite music groups or songs? Yeah. Um I listen to a lot of metal of various kinds. I've really liked Opeth for many, many years. Um, I like some melodic death metal, like Insomnium, In Flames, older In Flames. I like, um, these days I listen to a lot of prog metal, Gent, things like that. I like Periphery. I like, uh, Animals as Leaders. I like Veil vale of Maya. Um, yeah, lots of stuff, but mostly metal. Also video game soundtrack music. I like Skyrim. Okay, I can surely get rid of some of this junk now. Steel dagger that I just stole. Silver emerald necklace. We'll hang on to that for now. I will hang on to those venoms, actually. I might end up using them. Now that I think about it. Because I want to take that alchemy root, that poison root. This is what I want to get rid of, though. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, these are all guides and things that I'm going to hang on to. Keep the food. Probably get rid of that because I don't plan on doing any blacksmithing. And silver emerald necklace. Okay. Looks good. Come back whenever you need something. All right, thanks, Ewan. I appreciate this you coming out. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for checking out the stream. And uh, yeah, I'll strongly consider doing a, a trip uh, picture video. It's something I've kind of been wanting to do for a while. I've been recently getting back into editing some photos from old trips. So. What time is it? It's 4.02 in Scotland. You're meant to get up early and kill haggis and play bagpipes on the mountain. But screw that. You're here instead. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you're expecting soft music. Uh, yeah, I don't... I like powerful music. I like... Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I very much know Tool. Uh, Tatiaska. I have seen Tool live in concert. And just in November, I went to go see A Perfect Circle live, which was a pretty cool show. Okay. So, shall we see what we can do about this uh, Force Warren situation? Maybe. Um, clear the Draugr from Reach Cliff Cave. Let's go take a look. Okay. Where is Reach Cliff Cave from here? Well, it's a ways out there, but not too bad. Let's go. We're probably going to get wrecked. Like, we're not qualified to fight anything, really, as it stands, but what can you do? Nature video. I've done a couple of nature videos. Um, not narrated ones, but I did... Uh, what is that noise? Oh, it's the baby chickens. <laughs> Little chicks. Look at them. They're adorable. I forgot that that's uh, part of a mod that I have. Um, that I forget the name of now. It's a AI creature AI overhaul. But anyway. Um, yeah, I have a nature video or two that I filmed out on the west coast here. It's just kind of relaxing scenes and sounds. Um, but like a real life nature walk, kind of like a Skyrim wander, but in the real world. Uh, that's definitely something I could do. I've thought about it before for sure. It's a very foggy day out, isn't it? Good, I can't even see Markarth from here. It's nice though. Where's that cave? It's still a ways off. And who are you? I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. Okay. The United Empire is better for everyone. Ever been to the West Coast? Well, it's really lovely out here. I don't know what part of the world you're in, but uh, it's it's really nice out here. Uh, the West Coast of Canada is it's got some lovely wild stretches of beach, some ancient forests. If you'd like to get a picture of what it looks like, just go check out that video on my channel. It's from last summer, I think. And it's just kind of scenes of the West Coast. Yeah, Zarvax, I don't do role plays. Um, like, I guess my Skyrim Wanders are the closest thing to a role, role play that I do. It's a sort of kind of in character in a way, but um, 
I've just never been super comfortable with them, I guess. And uh, maybe I'm not super creative in that way, but I've had people ask a lot for like video game store role plays or something like that. Also, I don't think I'm a very good actor, so <laughs> that doesn't help, but I should just bite the bullet and do it one day. Yeah, D-Money, I did pick up Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I played it a bit, and it was fine, but um, I was not able to find a way to um, uh, film without other people in the map, basically, or other AIs, and so uh, I ended up having to not do videos with it, which is a shame. Oh, look, the Thalmor. I hate these assholes. Walk away. No. Whoa, chill, guys. I feel like if I try and attack them, that's just going to end up in me dying a bunch. This isn't the last you'll see of me. I'll go kill some more Thalmor, or kill some Thalmor later, when I'm a little stronger, a little more capable. Western Pennsylvania, okay. I've never been there. ASMR decks, um... Do we still have snow here? No. No, we don't. Um, you might up your way. Um, I don't know, but Victoria rarely gets snow. We had almost no snow this winter at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, smart X. I know you wanted me to murder them, but I'm pretty sure they would have just murdered me. I'm gonna go kill some Draugr instead. It's really lovely out here, isn't it? Very foggy. Oh, hey, it's a crazy lady. The Draugr infesting the nearest sanctuary on its side. Yeah, wait here. I'll take care of him. Then I'll wait. I don't want you. You're weird. You creep me out. How is there no snow in Canada? Because I live in the warmest, most, like, temperate region of Canada. Uh, it's a really mild part of the country here. More murder, more money, more kittens. Yeah, it makes perfect sense early, doesn't it? Uh, it's so dark. Okay. Problem is now, when I have this bright light, can't see the or er, the enemies can see me. Oh well. Oh my god. This is brutal. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Oh crap. I should get a shield. Maybe we can kill the one that's shooting me. Back here somewhere. health potion. I'll do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you ever get into the gaming industry and you do character modeling, you'll you're going to be basing it or inspiring it off of me. You're gonna model my face into a game. I'd be, I'd be down. I'd like murder myself in virtual game. I would be honored. Uh, do we miss anything around here? Yeah, so I really need to get some kind of spell of night vision or something like that. Um, because right now, as it stands, the fact that I have to carry this stupid bright light around, or cast this bright light, really ruins my, my sneaking. Like that, you see? It's a problem. Oh, that's probably not good. Uh, stop it, stop it, stop it. 
A ver. So this wildcat mod, as it turns out, is really difficult. Yeah, game volume's too loud. Okay, I can turn it down a bit. People before were saying this is pretty good, but uh, I will turn it down. Breath of the Wild, yes, I've played it. Uh, not on the channel, but I have played it. That's good. I would 100% do voice work for a game, absolutely. You know, I thought ASMR decks that Kaji came with Dark Vision, but I have not seen it. And it's because I'm using um, Imperius, I think, which is a racial overhaul, and it must change the night vision situation. But I don't see anything here. Do you? I don't. Okay. Um, what's up, Zach the Pony? All right, I'm gonna take a quick break, pee break, because I've been drinking a lot of beer here. So I'm gonna be like 60 seconds, and then I'll be back. You guys can chat amongst yourselves in the meantime. You can discuss Breath of the Wild or why I don't have dark vision or whatever you want. Okay, and I'll turn in the volume when I get back. So I'll be right back. Bad news, guys. Uh, my girlfriend's in the bathroom, so I'm not using the bathroom right now, but uh, I'll have to take a break in a couple minutes here because all this beer, I tell you. Okay, what happened in the chat for the 30 seconds while I was away? If I accidentally took the mic with me on my pee break, yeah, that'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Kool-Aid, what are you doing? Are you are you trying to take over this chat? Behind my back? How could you? Betrayal. Betrayal most foul. Wow. You guys. Okay, uh, so that's right, I died. I have to kill these stupid jogger again. Oh, that's right. We've got this ranged guy over here who I should murder first. Look at this. I can hit anything. Ooh. <laughs> Zach, you weren't part of Kool-Aid's plan? Sure. Sure. I don't trust any of you guys. Can I use this frostbite venom? Let's try it out. Yeah, let's put on the dagger. Let's see what happens. I don't know if that helped. There we go. <laughs> okay, right. I'll turn down the sword, good thinking. Uh, no, I don't have a streaming schedule, not yet. Um, but, okay, hold on a second, let me just, system, settings, audio, uh, weapons, is that a thing? 
weapons. Yeah, it's from way up. Let's just turn that down. Let's turn it down to like 50%. There we go. Let's see if that helps. All right. <laughs> Take over the chat and make me dab to get it back. Why? Why would you do this thing to me? Don't understand. All right. Now we got some bad guys in here. I know we do. But ultimately, I'll, uh, oh, hold on. Bathroom's free. I'll be right back. <laughs> Continue on in the chat. Please don't take over. I mean, if you do, I'll be back to regain control, but just do, do whatever. Okay, how's it going guys? Y'all still here? What's going on? You have no idea how much better I feel right now. Like I really, really had to be. I can think straight now. Before I was just like, just gotta be. All right. Uh, has a full scale takeover occurred? Let's find out. I'm gonna check chat here. You took my chair. How could you claim my chair? What am I supposed to sit on? Fire cannons. This is a mess. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> no, the mic, the mic cannot be yours. Nope, beer's mine. I'm taking it all back. All of it. Okay, I'm back in control here. Let's jump back over here and see. Um, is there a way to dispel an active spell in Skyrim? 
like if I have my light out, but I want to turn it off, or if I have like my candle light on, but I want it off, how do I do that? Oh my god, it's so dark without it. There's literally no light in here. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. Oof. Okay, so this is the problem guy. Oh, did I quick save? I should quick save. Let's do that. <laughs> Lord Cool Aid will rise again. Oof. Oof, that hurts. Good lord. I don't know what that is. There we go. Eat it. Going through health potions pretty quick, but. <laughs> Your little attempted takeover amounted to nothing. Nothing. Um, the old Pokemon Yellow series? It's sort of just been on the shelf forever. Mostly when I realized how long it was going to take me to actually play through that game. Um, but I do get quite a few requests for it to make a comeback. And, uh, you know, like, I'm not opposed to the idea. I just, I don't know, I've just had lots of other videos that I've been working on. Honestly, that's the challenge for me, is it's just deciding what I want to do with the limited time that I have. I don't have a lot of time to make videos, I can only get out one, maybe two a week, so deciding what to prioritize can be a real challenge. Thank you, Sansa Scully. I'm glad that you like what I do. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Is that a Gengar icon? That's awesome. Okay, I really want this light to go away so that I can maybe sneak up here. Oh, that guy's gonna come to life. Like, ah, oh, these things don't cast any light. Barely any. Oh my goodness, guys, this is, this is a hard way to make a living. Not streaming. I mean, being a, a thief that has to carry a light with them is a hard way to make a living. Or a sneaker. A sneaky type. Oh, we're gonna die here. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just gonna... Yeah. That's the way to do it. I have to figure out how to play this... Uh, use this wildcat mod properly too because I think there are better ways of fighting than while well, I'm running around stabbing things with a dagger just in the face so of course there's better ways but... do I have any restoration spells like a healing of any kind I do let's do that Pixel Paradise is Oscar worthy. I'll I appreciate that. And I'll probably do some more Minecraft one day. Yeah, I'll just put all the joggers back to sleep. That's a good idea. Yes, I should favorite all these spells. Absolutely right. Let's do that. Uh, we'll favorite that. We'll favorite that. I should just be able to do that. There we go. Skyrim ASMR mod. Would you guys would you guys download a Skyrim ASMR mod if I made a mod? What if I were a follower in Skyrim? Would you guys download that? Oh, we've got an enemy still. How's the sound now, by the way? It's a little... Weapon noise is a little quieter. Hey, check it out. 
Um, oh, almost fell there. I've got two lockpicks, guys. I'm gonna quick save in case I F this up. It's quite possible. So dark. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> so dumb. This battle music really needs to stop, doesn't it? Alright, that's a level up. Okay. Um I, yeah, as a stealth character, I don't really know what I should be advancing. I think I'm just going to keep dumping into health for now. Alright, let's see what we got here. So this lets me see who's detected me. God, there's so many cool powers with the Ordinator mod. Sansa Scully, sorry your message got filtered out by auto mod. This auto mod's a little aggressive. I need to, uh... I need to... Tell it to chill. This is part of learning things, learning the Twitch. <laughs> Alright, Zach. Have a good one. Thanks for coming out. Sword's still a little loud, eh? Okay, well, we'll turn them down even further. Absolutely. Yeah, I could put a point in one handed. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. It seems to be how I'm playing this mostly right now. It's okay, Sansa Scully. You're allowed to you're allowed to use those words here. Um, meanwhile, the combat magic just continues, or the combat music, I should say. Let's turn this volume down again. <laughs> this has been a really messy stream. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I appreciate that. It's been a freaking mess. Let's turn the music down a little bit, too. It's like a little bit too much, isn't it? Let's do that. Okay, let's go find this guy who's been keeping us in combat this whole time. Kick his ass. Where is this jerk? There he is. Oh, I never finished my level up. Whoops. sounds a little better. Sea of Thieves, yeah, I've seen a lot of people suggest that. <laughs> These new thief graphics, I know, isn't it great? Okay, what do we got around here? Wait, we just came from back here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Anything interesting down here? Seeing anything. Come on. Wow. There we go. Nope. I thought maybe there'd be something exciting up here, but there sure isn't. Too bad. Bummer, bummer. I'm a compulsive book collector in this game. The Doors of Oblivion. I should do a PUBG slash Fortnite stream. You know, I don't play either of those games, but uh, I've been thinking about trying out Fortnite. I had some people recommend it to me. So I should probably do that one of these days. 
Alright, I think next time, guys, when we go back to Markarth, I'm going to see about getting a night vision spell from Kalselmo. Uh, because I think that might be the way to go here. I'm a bit thirsty and moderately fatigued. Let's drink a bit of water. Oh, I should have filled up my water before we came in here. How am I for hunger? Sated, well hydrated. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Don't need to open empty urns. So have you guys played these stealthy type characters in this game before? What, what kind of characters do you normally play in Skyrim? Anyway, I'd be curious to know. Oh, that's a lot of Draugr. Let's just save here. Gosh, if there's just a bit of light in here. Oh god, you can see his eyes in the dark. Isn't that spooky? Oh, hello. There we go. I think we're getting a little better. Will I have to pee anytime soon? No, I don't think so. I, I did what I needed to do. Uh, I need to finish my level up. I just remembered again. Well, let's take a look at one-handed. What do we got? Yeah, one-handed weapons do more damage. That would be handy. But I did want to check to see what options I have here for sneak. Sneak attack. Sneak attacks with one-handed weapons deal 100% more damage. Sneak attacks with any other weapon or fists deal 25% more damage. Let's take sneak attack. I'm not able to use it much right now, but ultimately I will. Let's kill this guy. Good. Professor Blackhole, you almost always end up playing a heavy thief. Like heavy armored thief? That's interesting. Sort of a unique mix of character traits. I've heard really good things about Rhyme, Sarvax. Um, or at least I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, that's certainly one that I've considered picking up before. Do -do -do -do. You know what I need to do? I need to do call healing two, call candlelight one. There we go. Oh, Draugr Overlord. Oh, bad start. Bad start. It's probably gonna go poorly for me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Maybe I should be playing a stealth archer. I feel like that might go a little better here. Uh, whoa. I can do this. I believe in myself. Oh. What? Oh, he's got an icy axe. And that impacts the frost fall. Oh, that's a problem. Did some damage, but I'm alright. I'm alright. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got this, we got this. Oh, that hurt. Um, let's heal it up a little. Night move? Oh god. Nick and Morty. That's hilarious. That one. <laughs> Can't see. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, I meant to add the... Uh, dagger to my favorites list as well. Okay. Uh, can you stop doing that? Oh, 
Almost got him. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I do have a fire spell. I could have been wielding that in my offhand. I have not played Unravel. No, I have not. There it is. Ancient Nordic Battle Axe of Shards. Unresistible frost damage. Hmm. Cool. Well, we did it. I feel somewhat accomplished. Now let's make sure we've looted everything around here. Mm, nothing that exciting. That sounds like a lot of damage. That is a very valuable scroll. Let's sell it for a bit of money. Mm -hmm. Can I get up here? Mm, not much here. This is a weird arrangement. Mm, I feel like this is going to be part of a quest or something. So, another thing I could do here is I could switch out my mod, my enhanced lights and effects uh, for a slightly less intense version where it's not pitch black all the time. Because normally in Skyrim there would be Harvesting Frostbite Spider, spider Venom, okay. Normally in Skyrim there would be at least some ambient light in these dungeons. But uh, I have a mod that makes it so that there's not. Do I see chemistry jokes happening over there? <laughs> this reminds me. This is bringing back memories of the Minecraft stream. I can only come up with those periodically. Oh dear. Good ones are gone. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Terrible. Absolutely awful. <laughs> it goes to be the anime. Quality. Quality content here. Only, only the best. Oh, you were ghoul during the Minecraft stream Kool-Aid. Okay, that makes so much sense. I understand. Did I loot all this stuff? I probably did. Um, what was I doing? I was going to see what we're supposed to do here. We have to go back out and speak to Eola. Okay. It's kind of uncommon that the game makes you wander all the way back through a dungeon. Oh, it's not. We have a side path. This is, in fact, the side path. Okay. How do you know two archaeologists really like each other? They begin carbon dating. Awful. I've not played The Last Guardian, Toothsayer. No, I haven't. It's a PS4 exclusive, isn't it? Sadly, I do not own a PS4, so that's a problem for me. My book kleptomania here. Is smart access? Good question. What are we at here? Two and a half hours? Oh, maybe another half hour or something like that. Well, that'll be a comfortable amount of time. This is giving me the cold weather tutorial here. Yes, Zarvax, I do remember when I kept getting wrecked by a skeleton in Minecraft. That was unfortunate. Okay. Uh, I don't know how cold it is out right now. But, uh... Hopefully not so cold that I'm gonna die here. Where's that lady I gotta talk to? There somewhere. Oh, that's a spooky wolf in the darkness. Oh, but he ran away. The worst jokes are the best, it's true. Argonian. <laughs> it's, it's awful. It's just terrible. Where are you going, buddy? He's just. That's fine. You don't have to fight. You can just stay there. Ah, 
An orcish encampment. Dushnik Val. Or Yal. God, it's dark out. I can't see anything. Where is this lady I gotta see? Oh, I came out over there. Okay, she's maybe back in the cave? I don't know. We'll find out. <sighs> well, this has been an interesting experiment so far, guys. I really wasn't sure how this would pan out. Oh, God. That sounds like a lot of wolves. I can't see them. It's stupid dark. That would help. Did I get them both? I there were two. Where did they go? Huh. Weird. Well, I guess we don't get to loot that wolf. Kool Aid, you were noticed by Papa Nick a while ago. Oh. Is this the one that's causing me problems? It is. I'm sorry. Wolf. <laughs> Vicious. Vicious kill cam kill. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, right. This Hunterborn thing. What if I just go manual loot? Yeah, I can just get the wolf pelt like normal. I'll probably grab this wolf pelt over here. Yeah, those wolves be scary. I agree. I agree. Alright, so. So what have we got on our list here? We have to go talk to this lady. I have to go back to Kelselmo and try and find a night eye or night vision spell. Where is this woman I gotta talk to? I'm so confused. She's like, I guess she's down in the cave. I shouldn't have left her outside. I should have just brought her with me, probably. But oh, that might hurt. Back in we go. <laughs> I should have just come back the way I came. Wait, was she in that room? The room where I... Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. She's all the way back at the end. Holy crap. I don't think she was there when I left the room, though. Oh no, Zarbax. Don't die. Stay with us. Use night vision when you can up the gamma. Yeah, but then that's ugly. Nobody wants an ugly Skyrim. I spent hours trying to make it not ugly. Did I loot this? I did. I don't remember having to open this door before. It's kind of weird. Okay, we're back. Holy crap. You've done it. Uh -huh. The shrine is ours again. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. No, no, no. You will have the honor of no, I'm good. a fresh kill for the main course. And I know the perfect person. Okay, who's the perfect person? A priest filled with the taste of an easy life. Brother Verilus from Markar. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arcae's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Namira's presence, she will take care of the rest. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Bring Verilus here. The Lady of Decay will do the rest. Yeah, no. No. There's gotta be a way out of this. There's gotta be a way that we can turn around and just murder her instead. We'll make sure that happens. Okay, let's go back back out the door here.
force lightning your phone. Gotta charge it that way. Uh, Jet 7X Country. No, I didn't. I had thought about doing that. I just ran out of time. But yes, I should make a short little announcement on YouTube uh, when I'm going to be going live because uh, yeah, it probably would have brought out more people. But that's okay. You guys are the pioneers. You're the ones that... True fans. You came out to the very first ever Twitch stream. Truth be told, this has given me a good opportunity to work out the kinks, the technical issues, because it's not been smooth by any stretch, but it's worked. Um, and I think the second such stream, I heard someone saying something about vampires. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, they're both vampires. Oof. Wow, he died quick and kind of flipped over. That was weird. Um, yeah, so I think I'll probably... Uh, announce it on YouTube next time. And ultimately, I would like to... Well, what I did do actually this time around is I put it on the YouTube community page, which I think goes out to all my YouTube subscribers. Um, at least those that are si signed up for alerts, I think, get to see that. So some folks on YouTube probably saw it, but... <laughs> Welcome back, Ewan. I was, uh, I thought you were, I can't remember why you said you were leaving, but I was glad to have you back. Or it's good to have you back. I am glad to have you back. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, we're heading back to Markarth, guys. Skyrim PvP, what is the highest level you can be in Skyrim? I don't know if there is. I mean, there's probably a level cap somewhere, but... I've never reached it. You can be very, very high level. To Markarth. This way. Very good. Any idea when the next stream will be? Uh, no, I don't have a schedule planned right now. Um, things are pretty busy, but I would like to start streaming regularly. Um, Sunday evenings might become the norm. Because uh, that's generally a pretty available time for me. The water's very loud. Um, so, that might be the case, but I will try and announce it better next time, at the very least, before we get going. Need, like, a Don't Starve livestream? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came back, Ewan. I don't know if you're going to fall asleep here, but... This has been a goofy stream, for sure. God, I have so little stamina. I should put some points into stamina. Okay. I am severely fatigued. Okay, so... This uh, quest is finally triggering. Those of you who are at the beginning will remember that uh, it kind of broke at that point, and uh, the quest didn't trigger properly. But the Forsworn, strange. Well, I hope the eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. I don't think I dropped anything, Ultras. Do you know anything about the attack? I was just getting some fresh air. Add one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Hmm. <laughs> I note. No, that's yours. Are you sure? Falling out of your pocket. Hmm. Kool Aid, you did. You started the first uprising in my Twitch channel's history. So well done. The first, but probably not the last. Until next time. Um, Ewan wants to know what beer I'm drinking. I, I mentioned it earlier, but it's, it's this guy here. It's the Arcus Pilsner from Driftwood Brewery. It's a good Pilsner. 
if you want something kind of light. Which is what I was in the mood for. Uh, where am I going? You know what? I'm going to go to bed because I'm severely fatigued. It's something you have to think about with the I need. Uh, who here can get me a bed? Any of you? Have you come to taste my portions and ingredients? Nope, sure haven't. <laughs> Maybe next oh, time. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry. I'm still a bit dizzy from everything. Oh yeah, she's the lady that got attacked. An Arab. Uh, pardon me, stranger. No, I don't want to talk to Will you. Will you help me raise a flagon for my dear departed brother? <sighs> Not right now. May he find peace in Sovngarde. Yeah, sure. I'm just looking for the innkeeper, guys. Shouldn't he be, like, here? Hmm. I need a bed to sleep in. Can I just, like, steal a bed? No, I don't think that's the innkeeper. Hogni? Did you see that madman? No, Hogni was the guy outside. This has ruined my uh, entire day. Please, I need somewhere to sleep. Do you guys remember who the innkeeper was? Maybe this guy? My father Klepper is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. Oh, okay. So where's your father? I'm just this weirdo running around the inn, like, please, let me sleep here somewhere. And they're all like, holy crap, we're trying to sleep. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. There you are. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Please do. Right Don't know where it is. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, ASMR Dex. Yeah, I enjoy doing those beer tastings. It's always nice to try out some new beer. And this was... A beautiful place, I'm sure. I was talking. Shush. Um, it's always fun to do a little collab. Um, and Cat Plants early into her beer, so that was a lot of fun. We had a good time just kind of chatting about beer back and forth, figuring out what we could even find locally from each other's respective areas. All right, let's get some sleep. Hmm. Okay. How are we in the sleep department? Mild hunger, moderate thirst. We are fine in the sleep department. Oh, okay, here's some Khajiit things that I get. While sneaking, movement is half as loud, and you can do a power leap with weapons sheathed for 60 stamina. Okay. Rawlith Kaj. Claws deal 10 damage. Power attacks with two free claws deal extra damage equal to 25% of current stamina. Huh. Very good. Feline agility. Because you move 15% faster at all times. They sprint 40% faster, but expend 15 more stamina per second. These are all things I didn't realize about uh, about Khajiit with this mod. Cool lady. I've heard of Costume Quest, although I've never played it. Alright, let's eat and drink a little bit here. That's a loud ass door. This is the silver. If I can't get you some, drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Uh, actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to get a refill of water. Of course. Okay. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markov. <laughs> do we have to bring that up, Ewan? Do we have to bring up that that poor, that mess? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, that. Uh, Urban Farmhouse Ale was really, really fizzy, um, and so it it really uh, no foamed up there. So the other two weren't so bad. Yes, yes, Alright, 
But let's just pretend that never happened. <laughs> well hydrated. Let's rabbit haunch, yeah. Mm, some grilled chicken breast, yeah. Green apple. Well sated. There you go. Let's fill that water back up again. Of course. Guards are free to search your room. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah, costume quest is good. It was impressive. I think that's sarcasm. If you're referring to my beer situation. It was impressive how much head I got on that beer. On that pour. Is that what you're saying? Okay. So what are we doing here? We have to convince Verulus to follow me. Eola wants to lure Brother Verulus to the shrine of Namira so that her coven of cannibals can feast on his flesh. Um, I d I'm really not down with that. Like, I might be a sneaky type, but I'm not a cannibal. I wonder what the... I wonder what the Elder Scrolls canon for that is. This guy wants to talk about this abandoned house, which I think is a quest. I wonder what the Elder Scrolls canon for Khajiit is consuming human flesh is. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Mm, can't say I have. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendhal. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Oh, not right Daedra. So do you need any help? I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Hmm. Now, I think this is a Daedric quest, isn't it? This is like Moleg Baal or something. I remember that. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Uh, we'll stop that. We'll do that. Here we go. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. It's a little radicans. Wait, did you hear that? Did he came his way. Hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, my favorite EMB right now is very much the one I'm using right now, which is NVT EMB for special edition. Um, although... There's another door. See if you can get it open. For OG Skyrim, I really, really love uh, NLA. NLA was my favorite ENB. I think I will backstab that cannibal bitch, absolutely. <laughs> my bottle opener just kept disappearing, man. I don't know what to tell you. Ghost in the stream, huh? Somewhere behind me? Back there. Spooky. Gonna have to rewatch and see. Okay, so we can't open the store. Oh. Spooky. Strong. Crush him. Are you quite done with this? Oh god, things exploding. I'm scared. Guys, what do I do? Okay. Uh, I gotta find a key to get the store open, I think. Are we quite done with these things moving around? I do not remember where the key for this door resides. Not there. Not here, by the looks of it. I think I just got hit in the head by one of those stupid things. I like how Kool Aid's just like there's a ghost on the stream, and then all chat stops. It's a little spooky, guys, I won't lie. Alright, do you guys know where the key is? Because I don't remember. Ooh. You first. Come on. Let's go. Let's go where? We going back down? Or are we looking for the key? I feel like... Oh, maybe it's in here. 
Nope. Sure isn't. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I have to convince him to follow me. Okay, there you go. We're getting out of here. Now. We're getting out of here. Now. Hmm. Doesn't seem right. Could the quest be broken? Possibly. Quite possibly. Because he doesn't seem to want to move. Oh, no, wait, so that's the wrong mod. I'm an idiot. No, I just have to search the abandoned house. This isn't very list. This guy is Tyrannus. No, I think I just have to search the house. There's got to be something in here somewhere. Is Skyrim still my favorite game? Um, It's up there. It's definitely up there. No. There you go. Crush. Tear at his flesh. This is a uh, spooky. I can't die here. The Tedra has us. It's you or me. Wait, is he trying to kill me? How are you jerk? It's gotta be like that. Sorry, buddy. Really wish I didn't have to do that. Your reward is waiting further down. Find my reward further down. Apple pie. Yeah, sure, we'll take all that. I see, like, spurts of blood on the floor. Whew. Guess we might as well just take all this stuff. Mm -hmm. All kinds of weapons and things. I probably shouldn't have started this quest while I was in the middle of the other one. This is the problem with Skyrim. You just kind of get sidetracked. Can I leave this house? No, it's still can't. Uh, Alright, well we're stuck on this one, I guess. What's my zodiac sign, Kool-Aid? I am a Scorpio. All right, enjoy your pee, ASMR decks. Yes, further. Everybody's got to pee every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I think things are about to get real spooky, guys. Is this more like Val? I can't remember. I think it is. But I really don't remember. Lots of mead barrels down here. Never hurts to have some mead. Lots of mead. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay right here, don't worry. <laughs> Just take your bathroom break. I won't get far. So close. Your prize is waiting. Uh, some Dwemer stuff, huh? Oh, yeah, it's the Mason Molag Bell, isn't it? Alright, well. Now when I take it, something happens. I get like stuck with it or something, don't I? Let's see what happens. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak. What do I see from this little cage? It's a mace. It's rusted. rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. 
Why is everybody but here so damn evil? Diedrich Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrated, left it here to decay until you came. Uh, you want revenge on Boethia? Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. No big deal. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound. Left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of spooky. Um, we gotta find this priest and bring him back here. Now, what's going on in chat here? Zach, you've left your Fortnite grind to come watch. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, Mardex. I can pay one of those mercenary... No, I think that's... Yeah, I think you're thinking of a different one. Yeah, I don't know what, what happens with this one, but anyway. What happens if I use the altar? Probably something evil. No, nothing. Okay. Well, guys... We've got a couple of Daedra now that are manipulating us into doing terrible things. Which is a great way to start off, isn't it? I feel like we just jump straight into the Daedra quest. It normally takes a while to get into those, but starting a Markarth, I guess, will do that. Look, give it to me. Sure, I'll take your cheese. Sorry, buddy. Didn't have to end this way. Let us. Oh, it's a beautiful day out. Uh, let's head back up here. Let's talk to uh, Verulus. Let's find out if we can uh, alert him to what's going on with the cannibals. Oh, where is he? Somewhere up here. I wonder who claims the dragonborn soul when you die and pledge yourself to all those daedric gods. That's a great question. Maybe they fight over you. I don't know. What time is it where I am? It's about 9 p.m. Yeah, it's a little after 9 p.m. I live on the west coast of Canada. Alright, Brother Verilus. Yeah, good to see you too. I'm certainly not about to lead you to your death. Mm -hmm. Glad you're here. I'm going to save before this dialogue. Or I'm just going to crash the game. <laughs> that was supposed to be a quick save. But uh, I think it just died. Hmm. That's highly unfortunate. Oh yeah, it's real dead. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, I guess that just is going to be the natural end to our stream. I could restart Skyrim, but you know what? We're at the three-hour mark here. Oh, and I think it's about time to wrap this up. Pardon me. Um, <laughs> it's been a bit of a messy stream, but thank you all so much for your patience. I really do appreciate that uh, as I work out the kinks here and there and just figure out how this is going to work. So, um... I would like to stream some more Skyrim going ahead, more of this character. We'll see where it ends up. And uh, maybe in future what I can do... <laughs> Kool-Aid, you're so sad. I'm sorry. But um, but I was thinking of stopping right around now too, so... Um, but uh, I think there are extensions or like Twitch 
plugins, I don't know what the heck you call them, extensions, I guess, uh, where like you guys can vote on polls and things like that. So maybe we can work our way through uh, Skyrim in that fashion, where we can kind of vote on what we do next as a group. I think that could be fun. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for coming out to my first ever Twitch stream. And, uh, and if you're watching this after the fact, if you're watching the VOD on Twitch or YouTube, thanks for checking it out. And I will um, post on YouTube and on t Twitter and other such places, Facebook, uh, once I figure out what kind of streaming schedule I'm going to have. But now that I've done this once, you know, I'd like to start doing it a bit more often. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the housekeeping that I wanted to do here. I think that's what I wanted to say. So this was a great way to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the channel. I had fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you all for being so supportive and uh, chatty and just coming and hanging out tonight. I really do appreciate it. And I look very forward, if I can figure out how to switch out of here, uh, I look very forward um, to having you all back here next time. So thanks again. Bye for now, guys. See ya.